Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caleb and today I wanna to talk about denim. So I wanna talk about the differences between what I kind of deem Japanese and more American denim styles and let you guys know which one I prefer as well as just kind of tell you my story when it comes to denim. So when I'm talking about American or Japanese style denim, I'm not specifically referring to the country it's made in. When you look at it, when it comes to heritage or amakaji style denim, essentially everything traces back to America through Japan, as none of this would have really been preserved or available to us today without the Japanese. But of course, the origin comes from traditionally American styles. So just to get that out of the way, I wanted to let you guys know that. So when I'm looking at what I would call Japanese style denim, I'm thinking of makers like Pure Blue Japan, or samurai who are really known for their unique and uh, very eccentric almost almost comical style denim a lot of these make japanese makers tend towards more fashion forward silhouettes when it comes to their pants such as mid-rise tapered jeans or slim straights alternatively when we look at american denim we can see something that is a lot more simple and so a lot more American denim does have nep and it does have slub, but it is usually in kind of the way I think of it, it, almost more in a reproduction sense, it is often more uniform and it is more normal. And so some, some of these examples would be like the Levi's Vintage Clothing or Mr. Freedom. So when it comes to my experiences with both American and Japanese denim, uh, my only experience with what I would uh, identify as this Japanese denim comes from a pair of pure blue Japan jeans I owned. So I owned a pair of their snow denim, which is a, uh, which was a straight fit with a mid rod of nep. And it wasn't too extreme or comical, but it was still very, very obvious. And they were super cool. They fit great and they were a good fit for me at the time. But as I lost weight, I lost about 30 pounds. I started transferring over to a more traditional style. And so they ended up not being the best for me after this style transition. And when it comes to my experience with American jeans, I have had two pairs of Mr. Freedom jeans, one in the lot 54 buckle back and the other are the lot 44 buckle back. Both of these are with Cone Mills denim. And these are a lot more of a uniform and normal quote unquote looking denim. And these were also made in a more traditional high rise stovepipe kind of leg fit. So when you look at the differences between these two things, it really just comes down to preference. Um, for me personally, I prefer a more authentic uh, reproduction style look, specifically trending towards Western wear. And for me, it just makes more sense to buy these more authentic American style jeans made out of this American style, American style denim, such as from Mr. Freedom or Levi's Vintage Clothing to meet my style more effectively. Alternatively, if you did have a more fashion forward style, I really do think that the unique offerings from a lot of these other more Japanese style brands, especially from brands like Samurai and Triple Blue Japan are great options for you. When I asked some people online and on Instagram about what they preferred, I got answers from people like Ilcuts or Ilya, who also has a pretty uh, traditional style, who actually said that he prefers Japanese denim. And he gave the example of Warehouse, who is a really great middle point between the more Japanese and American styles. I also talked to Brian from The Right Stuff, who obviously said that he prefers the American style as he has a very 1920s through 40s workwear authentic style and so that just really fits his style the best. A lot of the people I follow have styles that trend more towards the reproduction side of uh, Amakaji style and so because of that a lot of them did prefer this more American style and a lot of their reasonings kind of echoed what I was saying more so with the fact that the way that denim was made is usually more authentic to the original denim from back in the day as well as the fact that the cuts that come from these brands are usually uh, they are reproductions of Levi's or older jeans cuts. And so because of that, they're much more authentic and it kind of fits our styles better. Alternatively, when talking to people with more modern styles, they did seem to prefer these more Japanese jeans because they do have a more contemporary fit and they do offer a lot more options when it comes to different styles of denim that are available. So now you know my opinion, but to finish off, I wanna give you guys some 
brands as well as some people to check out if you want to see great examples of how to wear American and also Japanese denim. My personal favorite brands when it comes to American style denim and jeans are Mr. Freedom as well as I believe it's pronounced Monsivais & Co who is a maker from Los Angeles which is close by where I live. There is also Ui Yofuktin, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not entirely sure. They make great jeans. They are Japanese, but they are the more heritage style American, like I was saying. Um, and then when it comes to Japanese jeans, as I've already said, I really, really enjoy offerings from Pure Blue Japan and Samurai, but other great brands to check out would also be Tanuki or Naked and Famous. And when it comes to great people to look at for these more modern style Japanese jeans, Carl Murawski uh, has a lot of more contemporary style denim and heritage wear, and he posts videos as well as pictures. Also, Michael Christie from the Iron Snail posts a lot of great information about more contemporary takes on amakaji style. However, when it comes to more American styles, there are not as many YouTubers who produce videos. So I think it was great to look at Jake from Almost Vintage Style. He has a great collection and a vast knowledge when it comes to a lot of this stuff. And he also writes these great articles on his Almost Vintage Style uh, blog, as well as he talks about it on his Instagram. I would also check out Brian from The Right Stuff. He has a great variation of really authentic uh, early American workwear styles and he has a great Instagram and you can also check out his brand. So that covers all the differences that I see between the more American and Japanese style denim. For me personally, my preferences just come from the fact that I enjoy the more heritage and vintage inspired look of a lot of quote unquote American jeans and denim and I enjoy the smaller imperfections that you see on a smaller scale from a lot of those types of jeans. It's a little bit more wabi-sabi accidental in my mind and that's the way it looks and so it kind of just more appeals to my personal taste as well as my more vintage inspired style. But in the end, it just comes to buying whatever you like the most. Make sure to look in. Don't be afraid to ask anybody. Everyone in this community is super friendly and I'm sure everybody would love to talk more about this kind of stuff. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks.